Hi Year 8, in this video um, I'm going to present the way that you can add text to your PDF files and you can attach them to OneNote so you have one place to save all of your work. Okay, so as you would have known from today's lesson, okay, all of the files that I'm having you work off of is um, going to be in the off-site booklet. So how do we access that off-site booklet? Well, you'll go to Connect, go into your Library tab, go into Unit 2 Australian Identity, and this is the booklet. This booklet is all the documents for this week's lessons, and the week one in term two, okay? But let's just focus on this week. So you click on the booklet to download. Should open up shortly, okay? And once you have that open up, okay, I recommend saving it. So saving it either to um, your desktop or somewhere on your device, okay? So I actually have mine here in this folder. And I'm going to open it up here, okay? So <clears throat> if I scroll down, I'll scroll down to an activity, um, one of the activities that you've done. So this one which you're going to complete on Tuesday or Wednesday, okay? Um, so for each of the following types of characters, you must identify an example from literature, so a book or film. So you can actually fill in your answers, okay, on this document. The way that you do that is you click up here in the right, Markup. Now for newer devices or new Apple um, products, it may look differently, okay? It may look like a pen tip. So you click on that, and then a way to add text is press the T. You can drag and drop it over here, and you can add that text, okay? So example of a protagonist, you can put Harry Potter, All right? So I would go through and I would fill that, okay? as I'm supposed to, and then when I want to save my work, I can either save it to the off-site booklet and keep it on that iPad. Now, if you have an older device like me, and you're scared of your device breaking down, it would be a better thing to attach it to OneNote. So I'll show you how to do that. The way that I do it is if it's just one document from the, from the booklet, I click over here on the sidebar on that document. And then I go to print. Now I'm not really going to print, so this is a little trick. I click on selected page in the sidebar. So then I could see it here. It has the text I've written in there. And it's just the selected page. Okay. If it's multiple pages, multiple pages of work, then what I would do is press Command, and then I could click that one as well. But I just want this one at the moment. I don't want both of them. Okay. All right, so go back to Print, and you can say Selected Pages. It is including that page, but don't worry about that. And then I click down here where it says PDF. I'll say Save as PDF. Okay, and then I'll give it a name. So, now I could save it to my desktop. If you have an iPad, sometimes you may be able to share it or save it on your OneDrive. So that's one way that you can do that. Just follow the prompts, play around with it, see if you can um, figure that out. But I'm working from a laptop, so it's a little bit different. Okay, so I'll save it to my desktop, <clears throat> and then I'll minimize this for the time being, 
Okay, and types of characters, there it is on my desktop. Now, if I want to keep this in a spot that's never going to disappear or never going to break down, OneNote is the best spot for that. So I click on OneNote, okay. Now, your tabs, okay, these are my tabs under Content Library. Your tabs are if you click on your name, okay. So you need to go to your Online Learning tab, and what you can do is under whatever today, that date you did the lesson is, I'm going to attach it down here. So I already completed that, so I'm just going to drag and drop it. Now, I could insert it as a printout that shows me the whole thing, or I can insert it as an attachment. That choice is yours. I'll do a printout this time. There it is. And so if I feel I could see my answers on there and all of the work. And that way, instead of when I chase you up for your work, if I say, hey, can you show me what work you have done today? You can just say, yeah, miss, it's on OneNote. Okay, so again, you just drag and drop, drag and drop. Okay, I hope that helps you um, figure out how to write on PDF files, okay, in your off-site booklet, and also help you save your work in multiple ways, okay, just as a backup plan, all right? Again, if you have any questions or any other problems, you can always email me. Take care.